Hey guys, it's Heather, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Sea Alaska Values Totem Pole. So I grew up on Indian land, and totem poles have a real special resonance for me, a, a very special place in my heart. This totem pole is really unique for a lot of reasons. First of all, it is a 360 degree carving, and there are only four of these types of totem poles around. The other three are in Canada. This one is right here in downtown Alaska. He stands 22 feet tall. He's almost four feet wide at the base, and he's about seven to eight feet wide where Raven and Eagle are at the top. So now, as we know, totem poles tell all kinds of stories. Um, there are actually seven types of totem poles, seven types of story. And the word totem refers to a guardian or an ancestral being, uh, usually supernatural, that is revered and respected, not always worshipped. Now, the significance of the real or the mythological animal carved on the totem pole is its identification with its lineage, the head of the household. So, for example, the animal is the type of family crest, like a lion would be on an English crest, or think of Yellowstone, maybe a bull on a rancher's brand. So on this pole, what we see are figures shared across the three indigenous cultures here. And raven and eagle are at the top for balance. At the bottom is the salmon, once again emphasizing the importance of salmon in Alaska and to the Alaskan people. So this pole was created by two brothers. They go by TJ and Joe Young. <laughs> it's made from a red cedar tree that's about 600 years old. Now, most totem poles take about three to four months to carve, but this one took nine solid months. And the first six months were done elsewhere here in Alaska. And then the last three months took place right here, right on this quarter. So traditionally, a totem pole was also a sign of the owner's affluence because hiring an artist to make such a carving was expensive. So the carving of a totem pole reached its real peak in the early and the middle of the 19th century. That's when the fur trade was going really great and there was a lot of money and great tools were being made from metal and so it was possible for a lot of chiefs to afford these totem poles. There aren't many left from this era now. Because of the wet climate and the moisture and everything out here, they rot. They only last about 60 to 70 years. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video. Uh, if you did, please uh, subscribe. So next week I'm gonna be doing another little short travel tale. And thank you so much for being here in Juneau, Alaska. Cheers.